Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Future Man, Season 1, Episode 3, A Rip Hole in Time. Which, I mean, they even, like, kind of make that reference. Every title's been punny, and it's great. And then he even says, like, oh, we're creating ripples. Well, what's a rip hole? So, already, like, I love this show. I love, like, the puns. I love everything. So, the opening scene where, like, they just go down this list of animals. It's so fantastic to just watch them name every single one of them. And we already know that they all died. But to just watch them be like, boop, now they're dead. And it's just, I don't know, it, to watch it go by so quickly. Because you think it's going to be like this big, drawn-out gunfight and stuff like No, it's just over. So stuff like that, it kind of made me laugh. Um, we do start to see those ripples in time that I talked about in the last episode where Josh goes downstairs and now there's a gun on the wall. And it's like, oh yeah, you, you know why we have the gun because somebody broke in and we had to beat them up and now we have guns. Oh, okay. Uh, the blopple, stuff like that. Uh, one of my favorite scenes is probably the charging up scene where it's just wolf and tiger just going at it and just Josh's expressions like what's what's happening like is this is this even a thing and I mean it kind of makes sense where like I mean you hear about like especially for men in sports like you're not supposed to be sleeping with people right before the big game because you need that testosterone and stuff like that whereas on the other side if you get rid of that testosterone then maybe it'll help you think clearer so i don't know it, it makes sense in a weird kind of way but i really enjoyed it uh camello and cornish are now partners in the business which again big twist uh from what we saw in the pilot episode I absolutely love the whole conversation with like the secretary where it's like, is this more of Freaky Friday or is this more of Matrix? It's kind of more of Back to the Future. Like you don't realize that Marty is going to have to fake every conversation for the rest of his life. Like it's really intense. So stuff like that. I kind of thought it was interesting. Uh, we learned more about Cornish in this like second time stream about how he was humiliated in the dance off. So he went on this big sexual odyssey to kind of like find himself. And that's how he ended up getting herpes now, which again, it's kind of like the Matrix, like or not the Matrix. It's kind of like Terminator where it's like, oh, we stopped the AI. We stopped Skynet. Oh, you know what? We just postponed it. They found a way anyway. Okay, we stopped Skynet completely. Oh, you know what? Somebody else made an AI with killer robots, and now they're trying to go back in time. You're not going to stop it. So they keep trying to stop Cornish and from getting herpes. This dude is just destined to get it. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Most people in America have herpes, so whatever. Watching him give away all of his research is really great. Like, I mean, I have no knowledge. I am 100% ignorant on the way, like, the medical fields work. So this is me completely talking out of my ass right here. But I've never really understood, like, why all of this research is so hidden. And, like, I understand. Everybody wants to make money. Like, I would love to make money. I would actually be able to edit these videos. But, like, I don't know. Like, everybody... If we just like spread out that research, you would think that we would be curing a lot more things. So I don't know. It just always seems the whole medical field just seems weird to me. And then, of course, like I know it's 100 percent fiction, but you read of like it's kind of based on fact where you read like comic books or something. And it's like, oh, Lex Luthor has the cure for cancer, but he's just going to kind of lock it up, slow down the process. Ten years we will make millions off of it. So it's like, you know, that's probably how it's actually done. But oh, well. So anyways, Cornish gives away all of the research for free, and it's like, okay, so that's a lot of stuff. So if all of the research is out there, who knows who creates the biotics? Like, it's not Cornish anymore, so they've kind of missed their window. Where we see biotics get sent back in time to stop Josh and Tiger and Wolf. Again, very Terminator-like. But it turns out that they're actually, like, you take off their helmets and it's the weird, gross-looking face, the zombie face. Turns out that's just a mask for unknown reason and they're just humans. And it's like, that's why it's even more fucked up. And it's like, oh, okay, so this just got a little bit deeper that Josh actually knows biotics. So... I'm loving this show. I think it's absolutely great. I'm curious what you guys think. Go ahead, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time for Fuels Aaron.